Well, this is my Bible. My Bible is the Word of God. My life is about to be changed forever. Right in front of me. I am more than a conqueror. I'm above the world. I'm not beneath. I'm the head. I'm not the tail. I agree with God in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He is in his worthy. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit. Very, very interesting. Glory, glory be to God in the highest. On earth, peace be unto all men. On whom is serve all rest. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God in the highest. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit. You know why I say it so many times? It's, I'm giving a little echo. Turn it down just a tail. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit. You know why I say it so many times? Because you miss it. You hear the topic, but you're not paying attention to the topic. The unity is of the Spirit. Without the Spirit, there will be no unity. Amen. The unity of the Spirit is the unity that lasts long. It's the unity that considers love, that considers forgiveness. It's the unity that, 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 that is not looking at your, all your fault to pull you down. It's the unity that is required to love with the love of God. And that to give the unity of the Spirit. Amen. So, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1. As a prisoner for the Lord, then, I want you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Every one of you that are born again, you are called into the faith. You are born again, not by mistake. You are born again deliberately. And he said, the reason why I tag you, the reason why I, I call you in, 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 to, in fellowship with me, is that people can see the difference between the, between the time you were born again and the time, and the time now. Yes. Yes. There should be no reason why a born again person should be living like they are not born again. They say they're born again, but the man is in the gutter, all in the flesh, all opposition to what the Bible says. How can it be? Whoever says you are born again must live as Jesus lived. Not in our own self, not in our own power, but in the power of the Holy Spirit. It's as a prisoner for the Lord that I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling. Let it show in our life that we have been born again. Not so, not so where you write it, write it in the restroom, write it in the forehead. No, let it show. Let somebody know there's something different about us. Hallelujah. Every person that ever met Christ for real, there's something very, very different about them. That's what's called the unity of the Spirit. I'm going to give you one quote that will make you laugh. Thank you, Jesus. 100 religious persons knit into unity by careful organization. 100 religious persons knit into unity by careful organization. Oh, we need to work in unity, lifting God out. Living God out. We just need to work in unity, living God out. Do not constitute a church any more than 11 dead men make a football team. You can have 100 people talk about unity. If you do not include the Holy Spirit, the unity is of the Spirit. That, that's the kind of unity that will last. Not all this lousy. You can come together as a group and, say, and talk about unity. Unless you are born again, it's impossible because the unity is of, of the Spirit. I read it again. 100 religious persons knit together in unity by careful organization do not constitute a church any more than 11 dead men make a football team. Right. The first requisite is life always. You must be born again. You must be born again. Hallelujah. So it's of no surprise then. If somebody said they are born again and they are causing division, that they might not be born again. They might do the, that might happen by mistake. But if that's a constant way of living, I guarantee you, they are not born again. Hallelujah. It's impossible for Christ to live in you and you're always dividing folk. Yes, sir. All the time. You can make a, you can, something can happen by mistake, now please don't get me wrong. But it's deliberate over years and years. I guarantee you, you and even I come to the altar, yeah. I'm safe for you. Christ will come, you're going to be down here beating the tambourine or beating the drum all by yourself. Because inside of you 
It's not the life-giving spirit that will lift you up when you come back. Amen. If you fly out of the Central Lambert Airport, which is very close to here, you can either go in the plane or stay on the ground beside the plane. When the plane takes off, you're going to be on the ground. Why? Because you're not in the plane. That's not difficult, is it? But the close stories, they're not just in. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passing with the old, all things have become new. Let it be known that the born again person will walk as if they are born again for you. Hallelujah. You may not understand everything, but this is how you know when something is wrong. Nobody will have to chase you down to live right, because the live right comes to live inside of you. Hallelujah. The true born again person will not be comfortable in sin. I remember when I was born, when I just got born again, I used to go to the halls and party and everything else. Then I got born again. So I was trying to convince myself. I said, well, as a baby Christian, I said, well, as long as I go to church on Sunday and I get there on time, I think I should be okay. At least I'm not missing. I went to the to the old man. I didn't fit anyway. <laughs> I just did not fit. I mean, I did not. I'm not I wasn't trying to joke. I feel like, man, why am I paying money to come in here? And the people smell like smoke, everybody smells like smoke. Some hidden. Other, other people smoke. I'm smelling like smoke. I'm killing myself, staying up all night. And I'm pain. This doesn't make no sense. Why? Because I'm really born again. I called all my partying bodies. I went down the list. I said, listen, something happened to me. I closed my eyes. I can see the light. When I open my eyes, everything looked the same. I said, something happened to me. I gave my life to Jesus. I had a girlfriend then. I thought, ooh, I'm telling you, man. I'm born again. I'm telling you, ooh. I, I can see something happen. I said, you need to get into this. She said, I will not touch you with a 12 foot pole. And quote unquote, she's beautiful in the physical. But God showed me a dream that was so powerful. It looked like she was going down being executed. She was being executed. There's a, a, a force of power trying to bring her down all the way. And I was trying to help her to come up, but that force kind of took me in to bring me down also. When I got up, all this said, if you don't live alone, you're going down together. She's cute, but I turned my head. I said, well, <laughs> God will bless you. I woke up at 4 in the morning sweating. It's such a fast food, like a fast food magnet. Bring her down. I was trying to help her while she was going down, and I went down with her. When I opened my eyes, all those people said, well, she will touch you with a 12 foot pole. You can go with her or stay with me. I had a choice to decide. And people told me, oh, she looks like she's Miss Missouri. You better marry her real quickly. No, not anymore. Amen. I'm so glad the Lord gave me my own wife. Now God kept me celibate for 10 years and gave me somebody. You see, child may be sinful and beauty is vain. But the woman that felt the Lord shall be praised. Yeah. If the kidneys come to it, take it along with it. Yeah. But look for the woman that, or man that failed the Lord. God fearing people, yeah. not Jack Lee. As a prisoner for the Lord, then, this is uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1. I hold you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. So if you are born again, then you have been called to, to fellowship with God. So live that life. Allow the Holy Spirit to live his life through us. God is not calling us to struggle in the flesh. He calls us to die to self and crucify with Christ. The life that I now live is not yet I, but it's Christ that liveth in me. And the faith that I use is the faith of the Son of God that loved me and gave himself for me. Hallelujah. Unity of the Spirit. Yeah. Unity of the Spirit. Say with me. Say, Unity yeah. of the Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Make every effort. Verse 3. To keep the unity of the Spirit. To keep the unity of what? The Spirit. How? Through the bond of peace. Through the bond of peace. As far as it depends on you, live in peace with all men. Some people think it's a cliche. It's not a cliche. It's a lifestyle. Those I want you to be. The one that initiates peace in the family. Yes. Don't be the one that, 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 that rocked the boat. Yeah. Don't be the one that show up and they have turmoil. Yeah. Initiate peace in your life. Initiate peace. Yeah. Initiate peace. 
There is something about Eunice that is so profound. So, so profound. God gave me a revelation on how to have a better marriage. Very, very interesting. I hope you listen here today. Very, very interesting. Mother Teresa said something that's very profound. That guy from there. He said, I can, I can do things you cannot, and you can do things I cannot. But together we can do great things. I can do things you cannot. And you can do things I cannot. But together, we can do great things. So the problem with the married folk that do meditating on all the weaknesses. They are doing this. They are doing that. They are doing this. So you focus on what they cannot. Not what they can do. Let me say this. I can do things you cannot. And you can do things I cannot. But together, we can do great things. Mother Teresa. Let me give you a good example. Generally, you think when you have a toy or exercise bike or something in the house, you think, oh, man, you're supposed to assemble it. Well, if you're waiting for me to assemble the exercise bike or thing in the house, it's going to take you some months. My wife will look at the pieces on this side and look at the screws on this side and put them all together without the, without the instruction. She can do things like I cannot. So if I know she has that strength, then why am I struggling trying to be the man to, to arrange the bag that will take us three months if we can take it one hour? <laughs> but you see, you think men are supposed to fix the bag. Men are supposed to. If I see this right now, then I'm going to use it. Amen. When we go to the restaurant to eat, very interesting. When the receipt is coming for the meal, I tell my wife, I say, I, I gotta go to the restroom. Because we're gonna scrutinize everything. Wait a minute, uh, sir, there are some items here that we didn't, we didn't buy. <laughs> See, it kind of makes me uncomfortable, so I, don't, I, I, gotta, I gotta leave the restroom, I gotta go and right <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be able to talk about the items that is not there. Okay. If it's your father, that's okay, let's just, let's just go and go. I don't, but she found it out. And I tell her, well, I'll be right back. She, she knows I'm, 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 very, I'm very uncomfortable doing this. <laughs> when I come back, they will remove the things that are not there. But that's a gift. Yeah. Okay, she can do things I cannot in that area. Yeah. Put it together the toes and put together the bike and exercise. She can do it. In 30 minutes. Oh, it will take me three months to, to do. Because I'm going to go by the rule. Q1 to A. <laughs> Okay, the long screw to here. By the time I finish, you're going to do some of the long screws. Because I want to do it in, in a logical way. I want to make sure screw A go under the screw on the nut. I want to go that. She said, whatever, you just leave it alone. Okay, where is ready? It is? What? Well, it's ready for you? <laughs> So that's what we don't know with many people. You have been you have been paying attention to each other's weaknesses. I can do things you cannot, you can do things I cannot. So what you've been doing is looking at what you cannot in both sides. I can do things, you, you let that out. That's why a lot of marriages are not working. Because you have not learned to depend on both strengths. You have been working on a trickle instead of an ocean. Let me say it slowly. Listen to me. It's a quote here. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. This is by Ramske Satoru. Individually, you are like a drop of water. But collectively, you are an ocean. How many people will be scared of a drop? How about an ocean if it's coming to your house? You have been working on individual things. So it's working as a drop. So it's acting like an ocean. A lot of times we worry about things that we're supposed to carry care upon the Lord. 
Our very first president, George Washington, he said something that's very interesting. He said, worry is the interest you paid by those who borrow trouble. Worry is the interest paid by those who borrow trouble. Let us be mindful to bring the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Don't look for turmoil. If you borrow trouble, then you're going to worry. Worry is the interest you pay on those who borrow trouble. See, if you borrow some money, you have to pay interest, right? So the worry is the interest you pay on those who borrow trouble. Mm. <clears throat> Hallelujah! He yes. alone is worthy. Worthy to be praised. Worthy to be praised. Worthy to be praised. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So this is about unity. It's extremely important. Extremely important. Extremely important. I work in the hospital. You and me know that the people that come to the hospital, they are all kinds of shapes and sizes. Mm -hmm. But in the hospital, we don't see them as their shape. We see them as an individual that needs individual that needs help. Amen. A person can come with 75 pounds, another person can come, another person can come 500 pounds. We see them as people that need help. Yeah. And that's the protocol of the hospital. Mm -hmm. You don't judge them based on their size. Yeah. See them as people that need help. But you see, when I try to do a cat scan of city on people, sometimes I'll be 80 pounds, sometimes I'll be 500 pounds. If the person is 500 pounds, you cannot try to put him on the table yourself and break your back, or you can get if you say, well, I need some lifting up in the city, please, and about five, six, seven people will show up. So now up to eight and nine. So if eight and nine people show up, it'll be like 40 pounds a piece. Even the person in the cell will be 500 pounds. But the lifting up is not heavy. And they get on the table, and the test is done, and they get better. What am I saying? We rather lift up 500 pounds or 50 pounds. When you do it in unity, you lift something that will not break your back. Hallelujah. Individually, you break your back yes. and be out. Hallelujah. Not because God don't love you, but because you choose to do it alone. Mm. Wherever two of us shall come to me, in my name, in the midst of shall I be. Some prayer will be answered with you praying by yourself. Some prayer will not be answered unless you are <coughs> more than one. Yes. God is doing this so you don't depend on yourself. Take it, take it yes. off, arrive. Mm -hmm. Nobody pray for me, I pray for everybody. Price setting after you've been saved for a little bit, mm -hmm. and God answers some of your prayers, mm -hmm. so you start depending on you only and not anybody else. Mm -hmm. When I pray for everybody, I go to who's praying for you? Mm -hmm. no, no, no. Wow. Who's praying for you? Hallelujah. Even though a lot of people, Paul wrote to God out of the New Testament. He said, Pray for me. Yeah. Do you understand? He said, Pray for me. He understands it. Yeah. Samuel said, I will not sin against God by not praying for you. Those are people that are test prophet of the Lord. Yes. Kings. Yes. People that have a direct relationship with God. I understand that you need my prayer and I need your prayer too. Yes. He said, pray for all the saints. Yes. Pray for all the saints. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Okay, Philippians chapter 2, verse 1. Philippians chapter 2, verse 1. Let's take a look at it. Very, very interesting. Amen. Talking about unity here. Amen. Therefore, if any of you have any encouragement from being united with Christ. Therefore, if any of you have any encouragement from being united with Christ. The Bible says, if you are united with Christ, something is coming out of you. Encouragement, not division. Yes. Therefore, if any of you have what? Encouragement from being united with Christ, not division. Yes. Encouragement. Why is encouragement coming from me? Because I'm united with Christ. Yeah, it's God of all encouragement. Hallelujah. It's God of all encouragement. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A God of all encouragement. Yeah. Therefore, if there be any encouragement, as a result of you being united with So what is coming as a result of you being united with Christ? Is it encouragement or division? We need to know who you're united with. If it's the devil, it will be a division. If it's God, it will be encouragement. Therefore, there will be any encouragement for you united with Christ. 
You need to row the boat along, not rub the boat. More money than complain about everything. As if to say you are perfect than anybody, everybody else is not. You got a problem. We are work in progress. God I am finished with me yet. I'm far from being perfect. I have the feet of clay. I told my boss that. I will record for two years or more than that. They say, I'm not going to make mistakes at all. I said, how could that be? I said, because I prayed before I got here. I said, you know I'm, not, I'm far from being perfect. The woman you think is you doing it, that's not going to mess up. Yeah. I guarantee you're going to have all kinds of mistakes in one day yeah. that make you sick. Yeah. God always tells me, do this, do this. I pray before I go to work. So if, I, if, if I'm about to miss out on something, God will remind me and bring it to me. So for almost three years, they did not find a single thing that was wrong. They said, why wow, is it possible? Saka is uh, employee of the month. They said, people that don't make mistakes, people that are careful, people are never, they have all this long list of all the work God is doing through me. And I gave him the glory in front of them. I said, oh yeah, you and me know <laughs> I'm not there. I said, but God is helping me through prayer to get this done. I said in front of everybody else, I'm not sure to let them know God helping me. Amen. When I think it's you that's going to make all kinds of mistakes, Amen. God, Amen. you see to it. Now God will not share with anybody. Now God will not share with nobody. Amen. Give him all the glory. Give him all the, give him all the honor. Amen. Recognize him as God. Yes. Yes. You find an opportunity to bring God in. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They asked Daniel, they said, the king asked Nebuchadnezzar, they said, Daniel, are you able to tell me my dream and interpret the dream? <laughs> he, he said, I cannot. He said, oh king, I cannot tell you your dream. But there's a God in heaven. Come on, come on. There's a God in heaven. Come on, help me out. There's a God in heaven. Yeah. Like an interpret dreams. Yes, yes, yes. To God be the glory for the things he has done. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Too many married people are thinking, uh, meditating on their false witnesses. They never, never take advantage of the strength. It's supposed to compliment, not compete. Hallelujah. Compliment, not compete. Hallelujah. Find out what somebody can do better, let them do it. Hallelujah. I'm paying the bills not because I'm better, but because God helped me to keep track of the bills in my head. Many bills, many things I have to pay in the house, everything is in my head. I can tell you when they are due. And I can tell you in my head and get paid before they are due. So I got a really nice credit up there. My wife have a really nice credit up there. Why? Because I pray everything way before they are due. When I come to go to the grocery, I get a deal on things. If I go, I'll pay too much. I got to check with my wife. She got a coupon for everything. <laughs> and I know better where I'm in my little girl, I'm getting where you're about to pay more than. It's called ignorance. We got a wife that has a strength in that area. She can do something I cannot do. And I can do something she cannot do, but together, we have the great strength. Amen. Stop operating as a trickle, operate as an ocean. Yeah. Stop, op stop operating as a trickle, operate as an ocean. <laughs> In the ocean, the ship can sail. In the trickle, no, it's not enough to drink. If you're very, very thirsty, will you be satisfied with a drop of water? But it's water. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unity. Hallelujah. Okay, this is Philippians chapter 2, verse 1. Therefore, if any, if any, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, so ask yourself a question. Say, Lord, help me. Say, say Lord, Lord, help me. Help Since I'm united with Christ, I'm united with Christ. let me be let me. an encourager. Barnabas, son of encouragement. Let me, be, let me be an encourager. Let me be not a downer. Not a, not, a, not, a, not a person that will divide. Not a person that will divide. Therefore, if you are sending encouragement as a result, see, there's got to be a positive result. There's got to be a fruit of being born again. Hallelujah. Any encouragement from being united with Christ, any comfort from His love, the Bible says, comfort other people with the comfort I give you. You have been through some changes before, and God gave you comfort. He said, with that same comfort I give you, comfort other people. Yeah. So what you're supposed to do? Encourage people, comfort people. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do as a Christian. If you're a real Christian, that is a saint, not an end. Encourage people, comfort people. Any comfort from his love, 
Any common sharing in the spirit. Any common sharing what? In the spirit, not in the flesh. Any common sharing in the spirit. Any common sharing how? In the spirit, not in the flesh. If there's any tenderness and compassion, as a Christian is supposed to have a compassion. Yes. Not quarrel. Not, not strive. These are the things that we exhibit as a result of our relationship and connection with God. If you abide in me, and my word abide in you, you shall ask for whatever you will, and I do it for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord brought it back to me again. You said a lot of married people are focusing on what each other cannot do. But Mother, listen to Mother Teresa. I can do something you cannot. And you can do something, I cannot. So find out what I can do better, let me do it. Let me find out what you can do better, and let you do it. But it all has to happen in the spirit. Remember that, the unity is in the spirit. If somebody is in the flesh, they take you on the donkey ride. You go on the donkey ride within the flesh. It has to be done by the spirit. I got a very good one to thank you. How will you call up? I'll make sure I get it. If there's any tenderness and compassion, they make my job complete by being like minded. By being like minded. Once we are born again, there's going to be encouragement. There's going to be a comfort. Come on. There's going to be a unity. Then do this. Make my job fulfilled. Make my job complete by being like minded. Be an encourager. Be a comforter. Come on. Be, have a compassion as a result of a unity. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. You see, if you do anything out of selfish ambition, that's the moment you are not loving. You just brought the unity of the spirit. A true love is a willing, sacrificial giving of myself for the benefit of another without expecting anything in return. I'm telling you, I'm so grateful to God for my wife. I want, I'll go to work. She works at home you know, because of the pandemic, but she works very, very hard. Sometimes I can see her a bit tired. He said, Bori, what do you want to eat? And I see her a bit tired, but she's getting up and getting things going on. And I can see her very tired, but she's still pushing. So she's looking for my best interest at all times. And I'm looking for her best interest at all times. I'm a bit tired. If I see that the, the gas in the, car, in the car is low, I don't care if it's 10 30 or 11. I get in the car and drive and put some gas in it and bring it back without telling her. Yeah. When she woke up in the morning and said, Oh, you know. My gas is low yet last night. I said, really? Are you sure? Go and check it again. What? Do you understand? Go the extra mile for each other. Love each other dearly. Don't make an imprisonment. But I've been hateful. I'm looking for the differences. Looking for what they am doing. No wonder your marriage I ain't working. Oh. There's gotta be some kind of butterfly that was there when you met each other initially. Bring the butterfly back. I love each other dearly. I'm so focused on, 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 on what they ain't doing. Oh, I'm sorry, on what they are not doing. <laughs> they ain't do this, they ain't do that, they ain't do this. That's the problem with the, with, with, with the married folk. A lot of people start, you know, a, 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 a person that's making a joke to me say one time, they said they start with, you know, love, you know, but they end up with spade. <laughs> It start with love, you know, and ease. And then with spirit and glow. Because they're not keeping the unity of the spirit. You need to tell yourself it's not about me. It's not about me. It's about actually allowing God to live his life through me. We're very, very easy to point out people's weaknesses. Because you don't know that I can do things you cannot do. You always wonder what each other cannot do. No wonder nobody is going anywhere. It's like a crab. It's, it's a crabby mentality, you know that? Yes. If you put one crab in a bucket, it will climb out. If you want to make, keep a crab in the bucket, just make sure you have two or three of them. When one is trying to climb out, you have to to hold on to it and you, you can't you both slide, all slide down. You're not going anywhere. Hallelujah. The unity of the Spirit. This is a, if there's any, if there's any encouragement, as a result of you being united with Christ. Watch out for people that, that say things to discourage you or pull you out of the church or pull you out of the things of God. They are not serving God's purpose. Hallelujah. 
they serve their own in interest and they will be judged by God and not the city that they pay for it. He said, if you connect with me, this is the thing you're supposed to be exhibiting. Come on, encourage me. Amen. If any of you have any, if any of you have any, don't look for encouragement people that are not connected to God. They're not the sound of the most, they may look like a saint, but they ain't. I have an encouragement for being united with Christ. For being united with Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If there's any tenderness, any comfort of, from His love, any common sharing with the Spirit, any tenderness and compassion, then make my job complete by being like minded, having the same love, having the same love, love of God. Being one in spirit and one in mind. One in spirit and one in mind. One in spirit and one. How are you going to be one in spirit? Because you have to, cannot be in the flesh and be one in the spirit, all in the flesh. The man ought to be renewed. How to think that like God thinks. Hallelujah. How to be willing to love people in spite of whatever mistakes they make. Love unconditionally. Hallelujah. A willing sacrificial. If your wife never cooks, still love her. Hallelujah. If your husband never brings the bread, sit. just love. And ask God to lead to, to lead you by the Spirit. Right. And start looking for each other's weaknesses. Right. See, I can do things that I cannot. So you look, so you look for what I cannot do, I look for what you cannot do. That's a crappy mentality. Everybody's on the ground floor. You are an eagle on the ground. With wings to fly, but not using it. Because mm -hmm. so focus on what they are not doing. We are only as strong as we are united and as weak as we are divided. J.K. Mm. Rowling. Mm. There is no strength without unity. Nelson Mandela, former president of South Africa, he said, I dream of a realization of the unity in Africa, whereby its leaders combine their efforts to solve the problems of this continent. Right now, we have the Democrat, we have the Republican, we have all kinds of people. As long as we are divided, we are weak as a nation. Do you know why more of the pandemic of, of this uh, coronavirus got a chance to come in? During the time it was coming, they were trying to impeach the president. They were focusing on impeaching and letting the virus set in. Don't look for your own interest. Look for the interest of the country, for, for goodness sake. You took an oath of office to do the best for the country. Now do it and stop whining. Stand on your feet and do what you're supposed to do. Instead of being politically right, but detriment to the interest of the country. We need some help. We have to pray as a saint for the unity. That Mandela said, I dream of realization of the unity in Africa, whereby its leaders combine their effort, combine their effort. Democrat, Republican, combine the effort to help the country. Combine the effort, find out what can be done to make the country strong and start doing it. And start worrying about your political affiliation or something individual that will benefit you. We have so many things to work on. So we need to pray for the leaders of the country. Yeah. That the Lord will touch their heart. That they will combat their effort, as, as Mandela said. Effort is strength. Find out what we have in common together. You know what I found out? The nine justices of the United States Supreme Court, they eat together. They may have difference in opinion, but they sit down and eat together, eat a meal together. So what's going on with the rest of the country? Burning and kicking and shooting. What's going on with us? Bring the law and order back. Bring the police back without them in, in trouble. Who are you going to come when you have a 911? We need to pray for the country. There's a division right now. And God will help us to bring it back in place. It's not a matter of political affiliation. It's a matter of protecting the country and protecting the people. And encouraging the people and bringing the just back to the country. Bring the economy back. Bring, bring God. See, the problem we have in the country is not a problem of, uh, of, of economy. It's a problem of sin. Hallelujah. Yes. Anytime you can have a law that says a man can marry a man, you got a problem. Yes. Come on now. 
Marriage comes from God. It's called the holy matrimony because God is involved. So to go against what the scriptures say, it's a matrimony without God. Two men will never produce a child. Two men will never produce, according to my Bible, the last time I checked. God bless Adam and Eve said to be fruitful and, and multiply. How are you going to be fruitful and multiply? Yeah. Mm. We let God, we, we let, kick all out of school, yeah. a lot of public places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Judge Watson said, Judge Washington, he said, if a man will not be faithful to his wife, he's not fit for, fit for government office. That's not true anymore, is it? Who needs help? Yes. And the only person that can help the country is the Christian. If my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, talk for the wicked ones and seek my face, I will answer the prayer. I will hear from heaven, I will answer the prayer, and I will heal the land. That's why the devil is walking on church, dividing against each other. So you won't have a chance to pray for the country. Because you're busy dividing and bickering. And bickering and dividing against each other. Too busy. We need some help. We need to come before God clean. See, if your sins are not walking in holiness before God, you can forget your prayer. It's not going anywhere. Then we can have a few days. You can come, you can go together and try to pray if you want to. As long as you're not walking with God, you can forget it. The prayer of, of your own righteousness is a stink to the ministry of God. The prayer of the righteous is acceptable. It comes as a sweet man's symbol. Amen. If you have one prayer for a righteous man, I will let much. Well, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm done. We'll pick it up next week. We need your spirit. <laughs>